Hello, friends. Hello, family. How are you all doing? It's this time of year again. It's the brand new year. And I wanted to, to get together with everyone today to introduce everyone to my friend, Sabina Kurz. Sabina and I met a couple of months ago. She's a wonderful lady. She has healed herself naturally. She has changed her life emotionally and physically and energetically. She's done it with exercise and nutrition and fasting and positive thoughts and words. And so she's done a lot of the same things that I have done. And, and she's had a lot of the same experiences that I have had. And, and I, find, I feel like she's my divine opposite. She's my feminine counterpart that I have found <laughs> that lives in the eastern <laughs> starboard along with me she's in my time zone and she's become a wonderful friend she seems to be a real awesome balance for me I love her very much and so I'm collaborating with her to do a new year new you event and I wanted to make sure that I brought her on today to talk a little bit about our event and introduce it to everyone for the new year Yes, thank you so much for such beautiful and gracious introduction, John. And as always, I feel very honored and blessed to be in your presence. And yes, you like my, the male embodiment of me. <laughs> We've been on a similar path, but at the same time, slightly different, but a lot of similarities. And it's beautiful to collaborate with you because you bring some of the missing pieces that I don't have and I bring some other pieces to it that actually amplifies our unique power that we both have in our healing skills and abilities. So we bring diff very many different techniques together and different tools, and, but it's all really based on natural healing, which is getting returning to wholeness, really, it's that it's not about adding new things, a lot of things in, but also really releasing first, releasing and letting go of what no longer serves us, and re releasing what has been blocking us, what has been in the way, so we can really get to the core of who we are, to our source, and then rebuild and regenerate, so it has a, you know, different different aspects to it, the letting go first and then building a new. So that's the path we've been on. I've been on this path for, I would say 25 years committed, but even, even before that, it started at a really young age as a teenager, going on a raw food diet and a lot of things opened up from there. And that was the first moment I realized I can heal myself and that the body has a self-healing mechanism and the body is fully equipped and fully capable of self-healing. Once we know how and you know, can use the different tools that are available to us. And so much opened up from there. So it was a beautiful journey and I'm happy to share this with others. I love what you said there uh, about, um, you know, integrating and wholeness and so, and, and starting new again within ourself and, and it being something that is within us and not something that we have to get from the outside. I, I think the, the life teaches us that uh, happiness and health and wealth is something that we need to go out to get. And I think the important thing about natural health and natural healing and changing your life and fixing yourself and changing your new year and making your new year awesome is recognizing the truth that the power is within every single one of us. And it's just that we've forgotten this because of trauma that's come into our life, because of problems that we've all been under, especially over the last year or two. We've been stressed uh, emotionally with scary thoughts and ideas. Uh, our, our marketplace has really changed. So work has changed for a lot of people. So financial change, emotional change, fear-based messages has been, have been shared with us. 
we've been on lockdown, we've been restricted, we've had um, freedoms taken away from us. All of these things can, can lead to emotional distress in the body. On top of that, Christmas time and the financial burdens of that and the emotional taxing of that can leave us uh, kind of emotionally wasted at the end of the year. This is the time right now to reflect upon our year, to think about what has happened this year, and to start thinking and speaking about what we would like to see happen in the new year and to empower ourselves with self-belief and self-worth and self-value to believe in ourselves and to take positive action to create something new for ourselves in the new year. And that's what we're talking about. Coming together like you and I are for each other, with each other. Let's get our friends to join in with us. Let's make it a community. Let's make it a group. Let's get together for 10 days. Let's commit to ourselves and to each other. Let's support each other. Let's be there for each other and really kick off the year in the very best way that we can. Yes, and especially at the end of the year, that's the time to ask yourself these essential questions, such as what has this year taught you? What did you learn? And what it has, has not served you? What are you willing to let go of? And then going forward, what are you creating for 2022? What is your vision? What are you doing new or different than before? And how do you make a difference in your life and in the life of others and the life on this planet going forward? So these are the essential questions. Also this question, what are you grateful for? because it's so essential to focus on things to be grateful for, because then the universe brings more things to be grateful for, more people, more situations. So it's really where your focus is. So as we reflect on these questions, now is the time to do that and then building a new foundation for 2022. And that entails letting go of too much accumulation. We all have accumulated too much waste in our body, too much acidity, too much inflammation, and all that that makes you heavy and tightened and constricted and clogged up, including the emotional and mental challenges, as John already mentioned, all the fear that tightens you, that limits you, that actually imprisons you. So without, most people are not aware they live in a prison of all the stuff that has clogged them up. Their entire system is clogged. Their energy field, the aura, everything. So now it's time to look at that because if we're not aware, we cannot <laughs> release it. First, we have to be aware. So this is an essential process to be willing to look at yourself. What is not working? What are you willing to let go? And then doing the deep work, like cleansing on all areas, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, in all areas, letting go of things, opening up, releasing, dissolving. And this is a process. It's not an overnight thing, but it's a, now it's a potent time to do that. And especially when you do it in a group of like-minded people, because you can, we are all mirrors for each other. And we can see, you know, we're not going alone through this process because it can be a lonely and arduous um, process. But if you're in a group with others and you see others going through the same, same process, it's such a, you are in a container where you held and supported and reflected back. So this is actually when your power gets amplified. And it's such a beautiful process to do this with others and really commit, take some time to really commit yourself to a deeper level of life to a higher version of yourself to more in all areas and i know deep down inside we can have it all in all areas not just in one or in two a little bit here a little bit there but just a little bit no we can have it all in every area of our life in our health in friendships in in partnership in in finances in the way we live our life, it's all possible. 
but it really, if we're too clogged up, we cannot even see the higher vision. We cannot see the wider horizon. So first of all, it's about cleansing and deep, then deepening and opening to something new that we often cannot even see it. But it starts with a vision and moving towards the vision and the same time being open because sometimes the universe has a higher vision for you <laughs> in mind. So it takes the openness also. Mm -hmm. So so we're talking about taking some action. If you're yes. over 40, if you're over 50, uh, if you're reaching that middle age in your life, if you're starting to feel the 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 weight, the gravity of your life, if your life is calling for you to do your best and be your best and to show up for your best, if you want to get fit and healthy in the new year, if you'd like to lose weight, if you'd like to tone up, if you'd like to get rid of the aches and pains in your body and life, if you'd like to sleep better, if you'd like to cope with stress better in your life, let's kick off the year with a right approach to our life. Let's take a physical, mental, and emotional approach, a holistic, integrative approach to our life. Let's exercise, let's breathe, let's meditate, let's visualize, let's think and speak about where we're going. Let's commit to ourselves, let's commit to each other, let's do it together daily for 10 days. Let's learn a system Let's learn a method. Let's, uh, let's do it together. Let's inspire each other. Let's be inspired by one another and support each other and get started in the new year with some good, positive, healthy habits of movement and healthy nutrition and healthy mindset. Let's change 2022. Let's make it our very best year ever. Let's do it together. Let's come together for the new year, new you, January 10th to the 20th. We're going to come together and create a little community event. Yes, so I invite you to open yourself to a new way of being, a new way of seeing life, a new way of seeing yourself really. Because it all starts with the way we see ourselves and we show up in life. It starts and what we see is possible for us. So I invite you to open yourself for infinite possibilities and for something you can't even imagine yet. <laughs> and you know, life is really an adventure. It can be a lovely romance. It can be a wild ride. It can be an adventure. And life is really a playground. Yeah, that's how I've been seeing it once I committed to having more in life. It doesn't have to be a struggle. It can be a beautiful journey. And it's really, it starts with your choice. Everything in life is a choice. So I always encourage people choose wisely and choose from love and choose from your wild heart. Awesome. I love this. I love that we got a chance to get together. It's about new outlooks. It's about shifting our perspective. It's about starting again. Join Sabina Kurz and I January 10th to the 20th, a new year, new you. Uh, if you'd like to sign up, you can register on this page. You can click any links associated with this page to sign up. Uh, it'll be a a, a two-person sign up, 197 US dollars, and a one-person registration will be 144 US dollars. You can get all of the information on this page. Click any links, get registered, get sign up, and we will see you guys on the other side. See you later. Yes, thank you. Lots of love.